accepted. Every one of those who entered the faith of Islam agreed to the instruction of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which I want you to think about for a minute. What was the instruction? Every family take in one family from those who are coming in. I want you to think about it. Why? Today, we cannot share with our own brothers and sisters of blood. We cannot share with our own uncles and aunts. We don't want to share with our own family members. When someone comes from a distant land and he comes here, that's too far. Where's the Islam? Where's the Muslim in you? Where's the history of Islam? What did you learn from that? The Prophet ﷺ fostered a relationship of brotherhood between the Muhajirin and Ansar in the initial stages. Look, take them in. What should we do? Share with them whatever you have. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You know, sharing what you have with a stranger who just belongs to your faith is one teaching of Islam. And guess what? Today, I'm not talking about sharing what you have. The right of another person whom you owe something to, you don't want to give them. How's that? How's that? Subhanallah. Look where we've become. So this talk today is just to encourage us to say, let's go back and look at what happened, where we're supposed to be, where we have come. Today they say World Refugee Day. There's a World Refugee Day in June somewhere. We don't want to use the refugee term. The Prophet ﷺ solved the problem. One took one. We're not saying take one. Respect them. Serve them. Look after them. Be happy. Allah saved you. Don't worry. You have come to your brothers here. You have come to your sisters here. We will serve you. We will look after you. In no time, they will be above you in a lot of things. Today, we don't want anyone to grow above us. A man opens a business similar to ours across the road. It's we can't sleep. We've got depression and stress and anxiety and everything else. And we're swearing this person. Who told you he doesn't have a right to do that? Allahu Akbar. Who told you that? But it's the weakness of faith. It's the weakness of faith. My brothers and sisters, they, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, لا تسبوا أصحابي فوالذي نفسي بيده لو أنفق أحدكم مثل أحد ذهبا ما بلغ مد أحدهم ولا نصيفه Don't ever you dare speak bad about any of my companions because if you were to spend Mount Uhud full of gold, it wouldn't even equate to a handful or half a handful that they spent in the course. Do you know what they did? They did the real thing. Here we are talking. We are living literally comfy, as we would say. Prepared to share? No, I'm not. <laughs> Prepared to give the rights of someone to them? No, I'm not. So then what, where are you? Shouldn't we be talking about it from the pulpit? My brothers and sisters, remember anyone who has left their lands and come, whether it is to our lands where we are or any other place, pray for them, number one. Number two, reach out to them. Try and find out what are their needs. This is a Muslim. Welcome them, greet them, talk to them, make them feel at home. I tell you why. If you look at yourself, perhaps somewhere up the ladder, you, your parents, your, po your forefathers, somewhere was in a similar situation. They were also migrants. I laugh when I sit and think of people who perhaps came from the subcontinent or wherever it might have been two generations back. They look at someone who came in recently. They say, you see these freshies? What's the terminology? Why are you burning? Wasn't your father or forefather a freshie just like this? Just because you were born here does not mean you're any different from these people. It doesn't. So this type of terminology we need to talk about, take it out. Perhaps we're all guilty of saying sometimes things that are derogatory to these people. Perhaps we need to wake up, stop using those terms. Never mind, welcome them. Who knows, perhaps your children may intermarry with theirs. What will happen then? You become family, but yesterday you were calling them IPs or freshies, whatever it might have been. It's terminology that's being used. I believe it's derogatory. We need to talk about it. Look at the Muhajirin and Ansar. Whatever brought those people from wherever they were to wherever you are does not make you any better than them. Remember that. If Allah wanted you and your forefathers would not have been here. And I'm speaking internationally wherever you are, not just about this country. Let's learn to welcome people. A few generations back, we were in a similar situation. If people did not take care of us and welcome us and perhaps help us in whatever way, who knows where we would have been. So my brothers and sisters, may Allah Almighty grant us ease and goodness. I've mentioned a few pointers here. I hope we can take lesson firstly for myself.
May Allah help me to improve and may Allah help me to become more conscious of how we treat people who come from far off lands. We see them around, whether they've come for business, whatever. My brother, my sister, you are more than welcome. You are my brother and inshallah, we will help you to the best of our ability. You are welcome here and this is your place as much as it is mine. And may Allah Almighty bless all of us as an ummah. May Allah help us to care for one another.